Due to the graphic nature of the following Wait 31 News exclusive, viewer discretion is advised. Tell me about Jeffrey Franklin. Um, I'm 23 years old. I've been uh, incarcerated for roughly six years. Most people say that you were uh, a, a good, good kid, good student in school, never any trouble. I was a pretty good student in school until about halfway through middle school I started having problems with my grades and stuff. What was going through your mind back in 1998? Now, the, th the things that were going on with me were related to the occult. You understand my, my, what I was thinking, but it wasn't completely just me and the occult. It was also s some degree of mental illness going on. In your crime, you didn't use a gun, a knife. Confirm what you used for me. I used um, a hatchet and a sledgehammer. Why? I guess I didn't have a gun and um, not exactly sure why I used those things or what, you know, what led me to that. Um, I've thought about it before and I don't, I'm not really sure exactly why. Take me back to March the 10th, 1998. I had been up for about three days and just in my room, stayed in my room and snorting Ritalin and I'd been uh, cutting myself. I had heard like a voice kind of telling me that I was going to do that, what I did, and and it said it kind of like made it out like it was like it was inevitable. And I tried to resist it, and I tried to see God on the street, and uh, but I didn't really know exactly what God was, so I sought Him through different different ways. But I mean, I, I tried to read the Bible, and I tried to fight this thing that was telling me to do this. I resisted it as best I could. And then after about a month of resisting it, eventually it just took over me and, and something happened. I just, and that's, that's just how I ended up committing the crime. A harsh crime. Yes, sir. I guess the term used most were hatchet boy, axe boy. What do you say about that? I, I don't blame anybody for the reactions to me because I feel that I justified most of them. And, you know, I, I know I acted out in, in a terrible way. And, and uh, whatever reaction I get, you know, I really didn't deserve too much mercy. Do you feel that you're paying the price? Yes, I'm, I'm paying the price. I mean, I believe that, like, kind of like whatever. I do, you know, this life, any suffering I go through is sort of like my penance, or if you want to look at it like that. If you take away the drugs and the music, would this have happened? 